Welcome to Wonder Woman Wednesday. Today we have the pleasure of speaking with Aruna Venugopal Mbar, a woman who has defied limitations and achieved remarkable feats in the world of swimming. Aruna's journey is one of perseverance, determination and overcoming personal obstacles to reach unimaginable heights. From handling depression to becoming the first South Indian woman to swim the Catalina Channel, her story is one that is going to inspire and captivate us all. Join us as we dive into her experiences, challenges and triumphs and discover the transformative power of passion, practice and never giving up on oneself. Thank you for joining us today, Aruna. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, so we would love to hear from you about your journey. Uh, shall we get started? Yes, sure, sure. So, yeah, the first uh, question is always about early experiences. So can you tell us about your early experiences with swimming and how it became a significant part of your life? I started out when I was around three, three and a half years old. My sister used to fall sick very often, fever, cough, cold. So the doctor suggested that she, you know, practices swimming so that uh, all these problems are eliminated, health issues. So that's how I got, in, got myself involved into swimming. Nice. Okay. So, uh, I mean, you used to swim along with her and that's how your journey started, is it? Yeah. I used to swim with a group where all youngsters used to swim together and then competition happened. And then I was a champion through all the age groups. Okay. Oh, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, as a part of your journey that we had in uh, Wonder Woman Wednesday, you had mentioned about mm -hmm. falling into depression due to performance pressure in swimming. So how is yes. it that you were able to overcome that challenging period? It was indeed very challenging because I was unable to express myself. People were not able to understand what I was going through. Though I was very looking happy on the outside, I was very, very depressed on the inside. I was trying to move along, taking life as it comes, trying to be positive, you know, for, a, for the next day, hoping it will bring in a better change in myself and the situation around me. Yeah. So that was how I tried to challenge the situation. <laughs> So did you do anything or uh, it was just a part of, you know, uh, taking one day uh, at a time and then trying to figure out the next kind of? Every day was a challenge. Every day I was trying to figure out what was happening, how I could improve myself, how I could work on myself, trying to keep others happy. But then somewhere along the line, trying to keep others happy, I started becoming very unhappy because yeah. I was not uh, achieving what I wanted to achieve. Okay. It was a very challenging and a depressing period. So how did you overcome it? Like, uh, what were the things that helped you in overcoming this? Actually, initially, there was nothing which helped it overcome. Each day was more and getting, because as the pressure builds in, you know, the challenge is more and more and it's just mounting on you. But somehow, I felt being positive, taking each day as it comes really helped me I won't say overcome, but taking each day as it comes really helped me get over that phase. Okay. Though it was okay. a long time yesterday. So, but uh, did you stop during that time? Or did you stop swimming during that time? Uh, yes, when I joined engineering after two years, you know, I felt the pressure to study, adjusting to the atmosphere around me. Everything was a challenge. So I did stop swimming for quite some time. And marriage, kids... All that happened along and uh, I think almost for 15, 16 years, I stopped swimming. Okay. So, so what that was, was it that motive? More... Sorry. Yeah, go it, ahead. Was all the more, it was all the more depressing because that uh, circle, I was not getting out of the circle where I was already stuck. True, true, true. So what is it that motivated you to return to swimming and that too after such a long gap and struggling with, uh, you know, work-related stress and all that? Uh, yeah, when my kids were young, taking them out, because I knew swimming, you know, everyone expected I teach my children swimming. So I then got into the pool, started teaching them regularly. But then I was not practicing as, I, as I'm practicing now. Because it was very challenging with kids, with work, with home. Everything was a big challenge. 
so working was not uh, swimming regularly practicing daily taking time for myself that was not happening each and every second was more like how do i keep my kids engaged how do i keep things running at a smooth pace that was how it was but i think that me time the peace what i was wanting never happened so once i joined the masters group you know we avija i just thought let me join a pool and see what people are doing i want to do something for myself but that is not happening how do i do it i just joined a pool for regular practice with my sister and then once when we were just swimming regularly the coach came up and said you swim so well why don't you join the masters competition which is coming up in a month so we okay. thought chalo let us let us why not you know just try it anyway it is not about winning a prize or anything just let okay. us try what is going to happen so that was how we actually started getting into the masters competition and realize so many of them are you know just starting to come i think we were at a phase where we were just so frustrated everyone around us you know i think especially mm-hmm. the 25 to 35 phase is a very yeah. frustrating phase for everyone and we mm-hmm. just want some peace time so we just got yeah. and we met so many friends we realized all of us are in the same phase and we we were sharing our experiences and we are like this is a good thing which is happening why not start swimming regularly yeah so that was how we started practicing regularly awesome i think that that start has now led you to where you are currently right definitely definitely that i don't know what push it was but the day when we actually started swimming was i think one of the best decisions we've made yeah so uh before we get into your experience of swimming the different uh, uh, you know english channel and catalina channel and all could you explain like the concept of open water swimming because i think if you ask anyone uh, people know about pool swimming but hardly do <laughs> anyone hear about this term open water swimming so what is it uh, what is the concept of open water swimming and i'm sure that it will have its own unique challenges right so what is it uh, that you know are the challenges to uh, compared to swimming in pools yeah open water is basically when you swimming large water body like lakes rivers oceans any mm-hmm. free water bo- large water body is called open water so in pool what happens the space is restricted your feet generally touches the floor and you have lanes so you know where exactly you're going how you're going and everything is pretty much controlled but in open water the waves tide current weather everything plays a huge role and if you start swimming you get so lost you forget where you are so that is the we yeah. main difference between open water and uh, pool okay. swimming okay okay so uh, coming to your experience of swimming the english channel relay so how can you just share that experience and before that maybe you will also have to share like how did you convince your husband and your family to support you because uh, i think that is one of the most important uh, aspects of this entire journey right yes, yes. so when i wanted to swim i just uh, during you know one of these uh, pool swimmings the coach came and he had already formed a team in 2018 there was this team which was going to swim the channel the relay team okay. so i said he told me and my sister why don't you join we were like still let us see let us see we were in that stage he's been he'd been telling us for a long time we were like okay chalo let us think about it we'll tell you later right now we are not in, interested all that but then he was like very insistent he said no you you try it is a good experience Uh, you know just suddenly one day i and my sister decided let us just do it let us see what it is actually so then once we did that i gave him the confirmation and then i told my husband he is like seriously you want to do i mean he is from a non swimming background so his main worry was what if sharks whale then other sea animals come in something happens to you what will happen to the kids the yeah. kids were very young around 10 8 10 years Okay. so main worry was if something happens to you what about the kids but then uh, seeing that i was really very passionate and i really wanted to do it he said okay but then we had so i myself had a lot of doubt 
so we yeah. both of us were seeing what challenges we were getting into and then uh, because we i wanted to convince him because i feel family is very important and it should be involved in whatever you do True. so i wanted him also to understand the challenges that i would go through yeah so when i we both saw you know a lot of youtube videos we saw we read a lot about the internet then we went back to the coach asking what about the safety what are you planning how is it going to actually happen so there's lot of research involved but then i think things started falling in place you know once when he felt okay it looks dangerous but still you know it is okay since it's not a so single person doing it it is a Correct. team and a uh, lot of people are involved everyone had everyone had the same question it's so mm-hmm. open water something happens what will you do family everyone mm-hmm. i mean everyone was going through the same issue like chalo let us take a try so we started so have you had you done open water before that i did do open water but that was in a sort of controlled environment where even if you swim 5 kilometers i started okay. open water i think when i was 11 not 12 so i okay. did a 5 kilometer swim then but it was from the indian uh, navy in bombay that okay. was i think between uh, i don't recall <laughs> okay. so okay, that no, was a 5 kilometer swim gateway of india there was some something like that gateway of india so then you know there were many there were almost 200 300 of us swimming in one direction so we had lot of kids elders everyone swimming so though it was my main fear then was jumping from the boat more than the swimming part it was more jumping from the boat because i was very scared of height so even that 2 uh, 3 feet above the water was quite scary okay. but then uh, i th- since i was very young and the coach said go i just jumped into the water and started swimming <laughs> so that's yeah. what so okay. i've already i'd already done but that was like a pretty much controlled environment this is more bigger uh, and with less number yeah. of participants the challenges was a little different here and more yeah. than that i think as a child you know you don't really have any fear in you true it is only instilled by the elders but now with the family and kids around the fear was yeah. all the more overwhelming <laughs> true true very true i think that uh, thought about you know how children are more fearless than uh, adults i think it's a very true thing true true <laughs> yeah so after the english channel your next journey was the catalina channel swim right and uh, that was a solo swim so how were the challenges uh, uh, different from your uh, english channel swim english channel we went as a team we participated as a team so you know in a relay basically what happens everyone gets one hour slot to swim you swim your one hour come out take rest and the next person starts so till your slot comes you are getting adequate rest okay so so people who saw me swim they're like no she's going to do a solo i was not even aware of it but then you know the observer the crew members everyone on the boat were telling no the way she is swimming looks like she may do a solo swim it yes. was not something i had even heard of or even thought of that was like way beyond my imagination or even something i would have dreamt of but uh, i think somewhere down the line that thing was already in me and god you know just wanted to put me in that path is what i personally feel so somehow it just happened and then uh, i signed up for the catalina channel relay because english channel what happened the water is very cold i okay. didn't want to do a i didn't want to do a real uh, swimming where the water is i don't like cold water basically okay. so at 14 degrees it's like crazy cold so when i did the english channel i'm like this water i'm never going to swim again okay so then i thought then i heard about catalina channel when my other friends were you know talking about it then i thought okay chalo water is going to be 20 21 degrees relatively warm it's comfortable to swim so i signed up for catalina and then i used to practice also very hard yes i did practice very hard for that but then as always i got my family also involved in whatever i was doing awesome yeah so were the challenges different from english channel because how long was the swim what was uh, the distance cat- covered most of the open water swimming the distance is pretty much the same around 20 miles 
that is about 32 kilometers okay, so it's okay. pretty much the same except for the gibraltar swim which is around uh, six or seven miles so that's about 20 kilometers that is the shortest channel but most of the channels the thing is uh, the water is very cold except for catlina where the water was relatively warm okay. i won't say it like very warm yeah at 18 to 21 it is relatively warm depends on the day <laughs> comparison <laughs> yeah for relay what happens you have your slot to swim finish come out take rest till your turn comes next but solo that is not the case you have to swim alone the entire distance yeah okay yeah so so how are each of these swims similar and how are they different from each other most of the swims when it comes to water temperature it is all the same it's all freezing cold anywhere mm. the north channel if you see it is around 10 degrees catlina if you see it is around 18 degrees being the warmest among all the ocean waters most of the the biggest challenge there is uh, the tide weather the turbulence everything changes depending on the weather that day and how good your day is okay. so the boat the pilot of the boat pretty much tries to give you the best date in the slot you have got okay. so he will let you swim on the best day in catlina what happens your date is fixed so you okay. have to swim on that day whatever the weather and they go okay. in a straight line no matter okay. what, how the weather is, the boat is decided he will go in a straight line. So if you see the route map, it will be straight. But okay. in English Channel, every two hours, the tide and the weather changes. So you go in a S shape because they will okay. try to take you along with the tide and the current. Okay. okay. So that's how most of the... That, much, that you can say is the difference and the similarity. Yeah, similarity is... Okay. So, I mean, you know, just listening to this 30 kilometer swim and all that gives me, you know, a lot of pressure. So how do you physically and mentally prepare for these demanding swims? Because like you said, cold weather, strong currents, unpredictable weather, it has to be in your favor. Otherwise, you might have to go through a lot of challenges, right? Yes, yes, yes. So how do you prepare? So basically See, initially we start with a two hour swim mm -hmm. and then we gradually progress to six hours, eight hours, ten hours. That is for the endurance part because you need to, each channel will be minimum 12 to 16 hours. So you need to work on your endurance. So as you work on your endurance, that is, that can happen in the pool also because you can swim continuously. But the tide, current, everything will happen only in open waters. So we go to different lakes where we swim. And then we go to different seas where we get the training, you know, as in to swim. Okay. So that is pretty much. In India, what happens? It's a tropical country. Waters are very warm. So you yeah. can work on all the other factors except the cold acclimation. Cold acclimation will happen only when you go to northern India. Or you go to the place where you're actually, where your swim actually happens. Okay, okay. So that is the best acclimation which will happen there. Okay. Other than that, there is, I don't follow any specific diet. So I eat everything, whatever is cooked at home. I pretty much prefer home cooked food. Six okay. months before the actual swim, I avoid going out eating, partying, all that. So that, that is just to keep my focus on the swim. I don't want right. it derailing from the focus. Right. Because Which is important. it is not a yeah. small investment in terms of time, money, effort put in. So yeah. a little bit of effort from my side, as in avoid. I, I can't say I avoid all the parties because oh, everything is not avoidable. Most of yeah. it, I try to tell them I have a, most of them now are aware that yes, I do swimming and it is a challenge for me to eat out because I don't want a stomach upset. I don't want it uh, uh, disturbing my regular training. Right. Yeah. Besides that, I do, I go to gym every morning. I run whenever possible. So just different ways to keep myself fit and healthy. 
all so those in, are uh, all i think uh, uh, physical aspects of it right but i think what cool. you need more is the mental strength so any specific things uh, you do or nothing mentally it's just your passion when you decide you have to do it you do it however whatever so okay. mental strength will come only when you decide yes i want to do it come what may i'm not giving up on whatever is the situation within my control if it is beyond yeah. my control i really can't do anything but within my control 100% effort will be from my side to not give up and however hard it is however tough it is whatever the weather condition i will try to swim unless the boat crew you know decides it is really dangerous for her to pursue swimming that yeah. particular event then yes then it's not in my hand so uh when you go for these kind of swims there are i'm sure there are some safety measures and uh, preparations right so what safety measures and preparations do you undertake uh, to ensure you know your well being and uh, to keep yourself safe during these open water swims yeah we have to take a insurance for that particular day so that's uh, because it's an adventure sport it's a serious adventure sport it's not just an adventure it's a serious adventure sport and very risky mm -hmm. also for that one particular day you have certain insurance which you have to take besides that your entire travel will be covered in another insurance so we have to take two insurance one for that particular day where even they will airlift you in case of need necessity okay. and need they will airlift you so that is very important besides that you have to give your uh, boat crew a field plan okay so because i'm seasick i have to work on my field also any intake extra or any less intake then it i shouldn't affect my swim so yeah. i through my training i work on a feed plan what food works for me what food doesn't work for me everything will be ready in a feed plan which i would have given the boat crew so that they will give me whatever as per my feed plan or whatever i need and i ask they will give it to me okay so all that preparation has to done uh, to be done before you actually start the swim right Yes, yes. Okay. During the training, all this feeding preparation will happen during the training period. I go there, I cannot okay. eat anything new because my body is not used to it. Okay. So whatever I feed, whatever I eat, all that training has to happen when I'm training. Okay. So that is when I know what works for me, what doesn't work for me. Okay, got it. Yeah. Understood. So your recent uh, solo swim. across the park street uh yes. so i think you also involved your son in that uh, uh, relay team right so yes. Yes. how can you share a little bit of experience from that solo swim and also how did your relationship with your son change after this swim uh what generally happens at my age you no know, people are like why do you want to swim what is the need to do pursue some why do you want to get yourself involved in such an extreme adventure sport it is so risky this that so you know over a period of time when the children hear all this and you know they also feel why should my mother be involved in all this mm -hmm. so you know so both though both my children knew swimming they never actually got involved in what i was doing okay so just to make them realize and since my elder son is also really interested so i told him you come along try if you don't like it you can always back out but just True. come and try and see what is happening you know you mingle with people because he's at a stage where he understands everything he is now almost 20 so he understands what is happening what people are going through and how you know so yeah. i took him with me and then when he went on the boat with his team his swim was on a different date my swim was on a different date Oh okay. so when he went with his team the way people spoke about me how much they appreciated my effort how much effort i put in everything when he heard he realized yes my mother really does something which you know i have not understood all these years correct so that was when you know he said yes you really work in so much i'm not aware yeah. <laughs> so nice yeah i think it first have made him realize that right 
yeah yeah actually you know it was sort of a big realization for both my kids my younger one is yet to be involved but uh, yes elder one is now you know appreciative and we talk so much about swimming now before we hardly had anything to talk anything i tell them i think it's the teenage phase also when anything i tell them you know all they do is fight back they tell what do you know we know better all those talks are happening but now whenever we talk of swimming you know he realizes i know much more i can discuss all he can discuss a lot with me and vice versa True. so True. their uh, respect for me their point of view and also you know they ask me for suggestions before they never used to ask me for suggestions they used to take it for granted amma tane she knows she doesn't know anything <laughs> we know everything friends know everyone knows everything except their mother <laughs> that is true of all children i think Yes, they don't want to yeah. listen to the parents, but everyone yeah. else. True. So true. Others were very, very appreciative. You know, he realized, yes, my mother is doing a lot, lot more than what I was even expecting. Yeah. So it has changed your relationship with your son for sure. I think. Definitely, big time. Now he, you know, he's asking me when is the next swim? When are you going? Can I participate? You know, so his involvement in. this aspect is becoming yeah. better very nice yeah. so he takes my advice so, a little more seriously yeah so uh i mean you know now how many years has it been since you have been doing this now the open uh, water swimming open water i think it's about 7 2018 i did the english channel swim okay So after that it's i mean at least i have been training regularly for open waters because okay. it is very addictive initially it was like just for fun and all that but now it's become more like an addiction <laughs> and i think yeah. it's a positive addiction because at least you are working towards your health it is not affecting yeah, anyone is. else in any way it is helping you become more stronger and more positive and you have a goal and focus in life yeah i think that should uh, be your advice to people who want to pursue their passion and when they are facing tough times i'm sure so any specific advice you would like to give to individuals because there are people you know who have self doubt when they want to pursue something that is their passion yeah. and you know they get uh, uh, opposition from lot of uh, people and all that so any specific advice you would like to give them opposition comes whether you do a good job or a bad job so if you know you are doing on the if you are on the right path take your family with you involve them in what you are doing that because that's what i have personally experienced okay. involve your family though initially they may not support you but um, you know they will realize yes you are passionate about it and you are doing something which is not troubling others yeah so then i'm sure they will also be involved and they will also help you work towards your passion only thing you need to stay positive be positive stay strong and work on yourself so um now how do you balance your swimming pursuits with other responsibilities in your life like uh, you know family and your children and how do you manage it so well i won't say very well <laughs> i do manage <laughs> okay but uh, you know when people are actually seeing that you're passionately involved everyone will try to come and help you because passion will make you you know find alternatives see how best you can finish your housework before you leave home for your practice because i make sure food is on the table before i go for practice so you know people at home don't have a reason to even crip telling you're going out full day and you are not even thinking about us so be it breakfast lunch dinner everything is sorted everything is on the table only thing they have to serve themselves and eat that is my commitment towards my family following my passion awesome so i make time for myself but i also take care of the family with me so that's how you're balancing it in the right way i guess it is a little difficult i don't deny maybe i get up half an hour one hour early compared to others just so that i finish my work on time and i am at the pool before 5 so oh. wake up around 4 o'clock okay <laughs> okay 
So looking ahead, uh, what are your future goals and aspirations in swimming or any other areas of your life? I particularly don't plan anything. I, I let things take its own way. But yeah, when it comes to open waters, I'm just looking for any other channel. But I take it easy. I don't take it like I have to finish everything in a particular period of time. I take each swim as it comes and however it permits me to do. Is there anything you have in mind like you want to do? Any open water or challenge that is there in your mind? Currently, I have signed up for English Channel Solo, which will land oh. uh, the Bhagirathi 81 kilometer swim. Oops. So... <laughs> Solo? <laughs> Solo. Yeah. 81 kilometers. Yes. <laughs> How many hours would that be? That will be around uh, 12 and a half hours. Okay. My goodness. It is, okay. I don't know if you've heard of Murshidabad. It is uh, very yeah. close to Calcutta. So there, every year, open water swims happen. This is the longest river water swim. Okay. I've already attempted the 19 kilometers in uh, 2018. So now I want to do something more. So this is just another... For me, I take it up as a challenge for myself. It is not to prove to anyone or show anyone, yes, see, I'm doing all this. I enjoy doing it. Very nice. All the best, I think. You'll do, Thank I'm you. sure you will, you know, capture that also. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we are Wonder Woman Wednesday. So this is one question which we have common uh, uh, to the women whom we talk to. What do you see as the biggest challenge, uh, you know, facing that women face in your field in swimming and open water swimming? Swimming, basically, I think in all aspects, it is family support and time management. Okay. Because, you know, you have to, not everyone gets the family support that I get. How you work towards this, I think is, pers is a very personal uh, choice. But uh, yeah. Okay. So, so any words time, of advice? Just follow your passion. Involve your family. Start small. Don't start, you know, big initially. You also live. Let the other person also live happily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good one. <laughs> so I think we have, uh, you know, covered all aspects of open water swimming and. Uh, some serious talks about the challenges and all that. So we'll come to the fun part of it now. Uh, we'll have okay. a very short rapid fire. Okay. okay. It's uh, And you have to answer very quickly. Okay. You'll not get too much time. <laughs> okay. okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Pool or open water swimming? <laughs> open waters. Sorry? Open water. Yeah, I think that was a fika kind of question because I should have known that before asking what your answer is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Solo swim or relay swim? Solo. Daytime swim or night swim? I prefer night swim. Night swim? Yes. It is any scary, but yes. Reason? Any specific reason? Uh, Nothing. I just, like enjoy. The... I just enjoy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like the cool and the calm. I enjoy. English channel or Catalina channel? I'm yet to do the English channel, but any day I think hands down will be Catalina. Okay. Yeah, English Basically, channel you've done the relay. You've done the I've relay, done the right? relay. Yeah, the water yeah. is very cold. Catalina water was very pleasant. Okay. So, swimming in cold water or warm water? I think this question, <laughs> I know the I answer. Warm water. warm water any day. <laughs> Are there people warm who like cold water? Many, many, many like. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. It is another addiction. <laughs> I know. Uh, next question. Ocean creatures or unpredictable weather? <laughs> Ocean creatures. Better than unpredictable weather. 
<laughs> definitely definitely at least you can try to shoo them away unpredictable whether you can't do anything about it so have you had any experience with ocean creatures uh yes when i was doing the catlina swim even during the park strait i had dolphins swimming nearby around 25 meters away i had lot of dolphins swimming so okay nice they are relatively okay yeah <laughs> but that is much more uh, difficult to handle i think uh more than difficult it is not uh, you cannot do anything about it you don't know how yeah. the weather will change at least these ocean creatures you can try to shoo them away yeah they will not come and disturb you but and even if they you know it's more out of curiosity not to harm you in any way okay okay so swim for competition or swim for personal enjoyment swim for personal enjoyment any day <laughs> yeah so i think uh, enough questions on swimming now we'll go to something else okay so sweet or savory what do you like sweet hands sweet. down sweet okay <laughs> sunrise or sunset sunrise okay traveling to new destinations or visiting your favorite places i like traveling so anything is okay any even revisiting is okay but what do you prefer out of the two like if given a choice i would prefer exploring so new destination new destination yes okay uh thank you aruna so much for sharing your insights and experience the different experience with open water swimming today i think your journey and perspective have been you know truly inspiring at least after this talk if not anything i think i want to learn swimming i don't even know swimming to be frank <laughs> so it is a life yeah. skill which you should learn yes yeah i agree and i mean seeing all your adventure it's making me you know at least to try swimming take the first step so thank you <laughs> thank you thank you so much for having me over yeah so uh, one last thing like you know before we wrap up uh do you mm -hmm. want to uh, if people want to get in touch with you to know more about open water swimming or you know how they can pursue it or start it is there any place they can reach you uh, they can uh, message me on my facebook account okay. it's uh, in the name of aruna venugopal okay okay i think we we'll leave the handle in the uh, link below yeah, sure, sure. so people yeah. can get in touch with you definitely yeah. definitely always welcome <laughs> fantastic i think uh, thank you once again for joining us today it's been a pleasure speaking with you and you know gaining valuable insights uh, what happens is we are in this world of our own where we don't know what is happening and we yeah. don't even know that there are so many aspects to swimming so when when you talk about swimming normally it's only pool swimming that comes into the mind though we know you know that there are people who do this long distance but i think there is very little information or you know people hardly know about these kind of things so i think uh, you know hearing this from an expert it's really been a pleasure and we wish you continued success for all your future endeavors thank you thank you so much yeah thank you aruna thank you